Good morning everybody, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday, the day I'm filming this, and it has been one week since we lost Layla, and I'm actually doing okay today. I would say the last couple of days, although they've been hard, um, I've just started to feel a little bit more peace than I had previously, and um, first of all, I just have to say, I'm not gonna like harp on this for too long because I don't wanna cry in this video. Um, I have done enough of that in the last week, but I just wanna say, I like, I'm just so absolutely blown away by the sheer volume of comments left on the last vlog and on my post on Instagram and just the absolute kindness and like love that I felt coming from the comments. I mean, obviously I know that you all are incredible and amazing and so supportive of me, but I just didn't expect that response. And it truly just means the absolute world to me. So just thank you. It's really brought me some light in this really dark time. And it's made me realize that there are lots and lots and lots of people that I don't even know who deeply cared about Layla and who care about me. And it just, it means so much. So I just want to say like the most heartfelt thank you. Mm. It truly means more than you will ever know. Drew is doing okay. We're both kind of like up and down. Um, we've both cried every single day, obviously, multiple times a day. And it's just one of those things that now I feel like it's been a week and I've really allowed myself the time to grieve. And I've tried to distract myself when I can and like get out of the house and do stuff, but really, I would say over the last five days or so, I've really, really tried to just like stay home, find a new normal, um, because that's one of the things that I touched on in the last video was just that like, I don't know what life looks like without Layla and it's still very bizarre. Like I've definitely gone through all of the stages of grief in the last seven days, swinging from one stage to another, but, um, I've really, like, I, I think I have accepted it. I've accepted that, like, she's gone and that she's not here in the house and all that kind of stuff. But it's just, like, such a reflex for me to, like, immediately be like, oh, okay, it's 2 o'clock, I have to go outside. Oh, okay, like, it's time to go to bed, we need to go outside first. Like, that part has been weird, even though I, I know in my brain that Layla's not here. It's just weird to get used to the routine. So I've just been trying to, like, yeah, create a new normal for myself and today was the first day that i woke up and i was like you know what okay i think i'm ready i think i'm ready to get back into the swing of things i'm ready to like vlog again and i have some main channel content that i'm gonna film here in a minute and just like try my best to get back into the swing of life um and obviously feel all the feels when they come up but really just try to yeah find a new normal so that is what we're gonna do today i just um did my morning routine i actually filmed like a little instagram reel tiktok for that which will be fun and yeah i'm gonna film a fun little summer dresses video for my main channel and then i also need to film right here the haul of all the stuff that i thrifted with alexa last week which like i mean i'm super late on posting that but 
obviously you understand so yeah just wanted to say i'm here i'm you know doing as best as i possibly can be in this situation it varies from minute to minute i will say but um, i'm just so so grateful for all of you so anyway i'm gonna do some filming and then we will continue on with the rest of the day showing in the shot. <laughs> All right, it's a couple hours later. I'm taking a little break and I'm actually like ravenous right now. <laughs> I just ate some like beef jerky, some nuts, but I've kind of, I just want to have a snack because it's like, it's not really lunchtime and I'm getting dinner at like 5.45, 6 o'clock and it's only noon right now and I can't wait that long. So I'm gonna have a snack right now and maybe lunch around like two. I'm not sure, but um, I remember, I don't know if you do remember, but there was like this thing going around on TikTok and people were frying pickles in cheese, essentially. Like you put cheese on a pan and then you like wrap a pickle around it. And I don't have any pickle spears, but I do have these like pickle chips, quote unquote, and cheese. So like, I, I don't know, I've just been wanting to try it again. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna test it out. It wasn't bad last time, but I just feel like I could have made some improvements. So we'll see. I'm not 100% sure if I had like the correct cheese last time either, because um, I don't think I had any slices. So we're just gonna like heat that up for a second. I can't, do I put the cheese on it now? I can't remember. Okay. We've got it. We're ready to go. But like it happened really fast last time. I may have slightly overcooked it, but I also like my stuff like very burnt. So we'll see. This stove is extremely hot and it warms up really quickly. Okay. So like one of those and then we'll just fold it over. I'm not sure. There it goes. There's our little cheese. I don't hear anything happening yet. Oh, there we go. The sizzling is occurring. I want to get like a really big one. I can't remember when I'm supposed to put this on there. Probably like soon-ish. Can you see that? That looks crazy. It's kind of like an at-home fried pickle chip situation. Okay, slap to that in the middle. It feels like it's evaporating, which is actually kind of scary. And then you just kind of like flip it. I don't know if it's ready yet. Oh no. Oh wait, okay, I think it's working. I think it's working. Oh, I think it's actually happening. <laughs> oh, I'm not mad at that. Okay, but now I probably need to flip the whole thing and I'm scared. Okay, well, it did break a little on the bottom, but that's okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It would obviously be easier with the spear because you literally just like fold it over, but we don't have spears and this just sounds really good to me. Okay, so there's what it looks like. Remember when we made those like fried pickle things? Hey, yeah, I know it smells really bad. Maybe it'll work with two pieces of cheese? I don't know. It's not even on the heat right now. And if this doesn't work, I'm not wasting any more food. But this is what the first one looks like. Kind of reminiscent of a fried pickle, right? And it's like definitely crispy-ish on the outside, but the inside is like kind of gooey. Oh, yep, I'm, I'm committing. Oh wow. What are these? I don't know, but doesn't, okay, like it doesn't look that bad. Or does it? Okay. It just doesn't cover it all the way. So that's why I tried, I was like, I'll do more. No, this is not going well. Yeah. I really thought this was gonna be so simple because the first one we did was just like, boom, no. it worked perfectly. Like the melty cheese on top looks delicious to me. Oh, see, I like burnt cheese. I want to try it, but I want to do like maybe a little ranch dip or something like what I would dip fried pickles in. Okay. What am I making? A mess? Literally, what am I doing? A mess. I just had like an IRL, like a lot of times I'll like watch footage back or I just had an IRL moment where I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Did I get a new one? No. Oh. I've had this one. Oh. I got my, my Layla necklace on. I for Layla. I have another one coming, which I'll show you, but. Should we open some packages? No. You're one, cooking. One thing at a time. You're cooking with an open flame. I'm not well, okay? It's been <laughs> a rough week. Let's give this another like minute and then we'll do the taste test. What the hell is this? I don't know. All right, so um, here it is. It doesn't look terrible, it just looks a little weird. So we'll try the first one. There's, I don't think there's crunch. Mm. 
No. But this one, this one's a little crispier. Maybe because I, it's hot. Maybe because I left it on longer. So we're gonna try this one. Not bad. I don't know if like Colby Jack was the best choice cheese wise, but it's pretty good. Hot, I don't know. It was a thought and now, I, now I'm wondering why I did it. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. Like it's definitely not bad, but it's just like, what is this? Welcome to my chaotic brain. I was gonna open my packages and Drew is now fondling all of them and asking if he can guess what they are. All right, package number one. I got us some more ice packs. These are like oh. uniform, thin ice packs. Cause Drew and I have been using our Bagu bag as like a cooler because we only have a massive cooler that has wheels on it or like our tiny little handheld cooler and you can't put actual ice in it. And the ice packs that we have are literally like, one we, we got from Layla's surgery in 2020. One of them is like yours left over from well, decades we have, ago. We have two that are flat, but they're really small. Yeah, they're not good. So these you can like line on the inside of your cooler and they're really thin so they don't take up a bunch of space in the freezer. You can just like put them in the door and like look how thin that is. Amazing. These are a pair of sunglasses that I was influenced to purchase by Miss mm -hmm. Amber Filler Up and they were out of stock and now they're back. So I easily influenced, I'm not gonna lie. I should probably be better about it, but these sunglasses are so cute. They come with like a chain thingy, which no thank you, not for me. But they're just so cute and fun. So I decided to go for it. Cute! They have to go cute with this outfit. This is literally, I just threw this on because I was filming. I'm not gonna need any of that. And then these are um, just like a little something. So I have my L necklace for Layla that I've had for a few months now, or like a year, I don't know. But I don't have one in gold, and like I wear gold most of the time. So I thought that it would be cute to get one that was in gold, and I found these ones on Amazon, they're like $9. Oh, cute! And it has a little heart and then an L. Oh, nice. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it has like a little heart and an L, and so I thought that that would be like more practical for me to wear day to day. This one's just like simple and cute, and then I thought while I'm ordering it, why not get one for Allison, who I'm meeting up with tonight, who her dog that was also 12, literally also just passed away like two or three days before Layla. So we're both going through it. So I thought that this would be, I mean, I don't know if she's gonna like this or not, but I thought it would be a nice gift to get her a matching one with her dog's initial one. So now we'll have matching ones and I cannot wait to wear this. I actually might wear it tonight. It's just another way to carry Layla with me. I love it. All right, all finished with my work for the day, pretty much. Um, I got my filming done and then I just packaged up like literally eight returns. Um, and I think I have like one in my car. I do this about once a month, I would say. Not this many, this is a lot, but um, like for a video that I did on my main channel where I tested out a bunch of different strapless bras, like I ordered five or six different ones. So like stuff like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, so that is what I'm gonna go do. We're gonna make these returns and then hopefully have some like nice chill time before my girls night tonight. It'll be so nice. All right, had some nice chill time on the couch and oh my God, there's like string and stuff all over this dress and cat hair and still dog hair, honestly. But I just laid on the couch for the last like two hours watching TikToks, doing a little bit of work and now I'm ready to go. So I'm headed out, gonna go meet Allison and I'm wearing this cute little dress that I thrifted recently when I was with Alexa, which you saw in a couple vlogs ago. Moo is crying for some treats. <laughs> if you can hear him in the background. I have my hair slicked back, whatever. I changed into some gold earrings from Amazon and then my little L necklace as well. Made sure to pack the one in my purse for Allison and then my white Sambas cause we're doing casual. Are you getting your medicine? He doesn't know it's medicine, it's in a treat. All right, gotta see while we're going. Got my purse. Let's go have a fun little girls night and hopefully we won't cry too much, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, we just finished dinner and we just have to say 
first of all oh, yeah. yeah um we bought each other the same necklace we both showed up wearing these necklaces and then she was like oh my god you're wearing the same necklace as me and i go oh my god i brought one for you and she was like me too <laughs> We bought each other the same necklace. Like, it's so crazy. It's like actually the same one, not just like another, like, letter, like the exact same necklace. Like, we just can't get over that. So, um, we're just gonna return the ones that we bought each other. Oh, there's my car. Gotta go. Bye. All right, just made it home. What? My tits aren't out. All right, just made it home. It's 9 p.m. And um, it was so nice to hang out with Allison. And like I mentioned, um, her dog recently also passed away, who was also 12. And we got each other the same necklace. Like, that, to me, is insane. And then, just wait, it gets crazier. We both took our dogs to the same vet, and they both passed away on the same day at the same vet. I'm like, what is going on right now? Like, literally crazy. Just crazy. We were like, we were aligned. And she did say that when she had to go in the back and see her dog, that she also thinks she saw Layla, which is just like, <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to cry. I'm at the point where I don't really have many tears, um, but then like more of them always come. But today has been really good because it just, it does feel like I'm, starting to resume normal life but i also don't want to feel like i'm forgetting about layla but anyways so yeah now we're <laughs> we have matching necklaces already and we both got each other the respective letter for our anyway that was nuts i was like what and then it just kept getting weirder and i was like yeah like even driving over here was super sad because the last time i was over on this side of town like blah, blah blah we had to take layla to this vet it was actually right down the street and she was like what was it called and then we found out it was the same day insane anyway i'm gonna go to bed it's like perfect 9 p.m i'm home on a friday night gotta love it and i'm gonna get in my pajamas and go to bed so we'll see you tomorrow Morning coffee date! And the barista at the coffee shop said hi Barbie to me. And I said hi Barbie! It was my first time. It was very exciting. So the next day we just finished a lovely morning walk while well, we had lunch when we got back and we literally were out for like two or three hours. We were just walking around. We got coffee, went to the park, went to Sephora, went to Sweet Green, got some lunch, came back here and ate it. We gave Moo some new treats. Say hello, Moo. Oh, he looks so tiny. And now we're actually going to head out for our little adventure of the day, which is we're going to head to Lowe's. We did this last year, last summer, on our back patio because things are looking looking bleak i'll show you so we're obviously like so grateful to have this back patio area but like we have an old inflatable pool we need to put away that we use like one time we'll just store it we have all of these plant pots we need to like clean some stuff up it's just obviously we can't do much because we rent so we're just gonna try to like cover up some of these less savory looking spots <laughs> like cover that with a plant cover that with a plant just try to you know clean it up make it look a little bit nicer repot some stuff so it's kind of it's not looking great right now but i think we can work with it one come get their cat <laughs> he said see ya well we're leaving we're gonna come out here after he said uh yeah exactly it's time to rage we're gonna grab definitely like a few plants to put in the pots that we already have and it's kind of confusing because we really have like mostly shade and i would say like i don't know three four hours of sun but like the full sun ones require six plus but the shaded ones require <laughs> up to three hours of shade but it's way more than that so we're kind of stuck in a weird spot so we'll figure it out and if you have any advice let us know but also we can't really we we'll do, we'll know about it later. Uh, we're here today. <laughs> we're gonna do our best. Just a girl wandering around Lowe's, being no help at all whatsoever. The first thing that we're trying to see if they have anywhere is some sort of like raised garden bed situation. 
I've seen some on like Amazon and Target and Ikea and stuff, but we just wanted to see if they like had them physically here first. Okay, so we have this one, which does have legs. You just have to like attach it yourself. So I think we're gonna go for this one and maybe put some herbs and stuff in it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we're just winging it. It's just for funsies. All right, we both blacked out. Here's where we're at. We have like a inventory of all of the pots that we need. We're getting some more soil, a couple other things. We might need to make a couple more trips after measuring. Two soils and we're doing herbs. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> all right here is our little herb garden which is going to be so fun to see how it progresses and if anyone has any tips let us know this is the sunniest area on the patio so that's what we're going with and we have our english thyme sweet basil and rosemary and our little gnome friend with his squirrel. Drew loves his gnomes. And then our tomatoes. And then we're gonna get another bed, I think, and do veggies to be continued. We got all of our flowers potted as well, our flowers and plants and succulents and etc. And then we've got this area like kind of cleaned off, but we're gonna really like scrub it down and just give this a good clean. Oh. Do that again. Come on! I was listening to the, the metal music, babe. All right, I will show you like a final, I'll insert some clips of like the final completed thing tomorrow because I feel like this vlog is already long enough, but Drew and I just made these cocktails that we saw on TikTok. Well, maybe we'll make them in the next vlog if you want to see it, but it's called a gin and jam. So let's try it. Cheers, Cheers. to our literally like 12 hour day of going nonstop. <laughs> Pretty good. I could have gone, gone more jam though. Mm. I like it because you can still taste it. You jam. can definitely taste the gin. It's really good though. You like it's a, gin, like, it's jam, like, and lemon juice. You like a gin like martini or something. Mm -hmm. Really tasty. So we're gonna enjoy these on our patio and I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye. It's so cute. Hey, Moo. You look so handsome. You look so handsome by your tree. 